Now I know brothers have lied. I think it is very important to continue with trial. Oh, great. Okay, that, that easy. worked somehow. Yeah. We got one. Yay, his ignorance is helping. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Well done, Runo. The balance is shifting. The one time ignorance was a good thing. Well, it's a start, I suppose. But there must be more in what these germers are saying that I can use to expose the truth. If I can do that, we might just turn the situation to our favor still. Uh, thank you, Council. Continue with the summation examination. We didn't get the picture, though. Oh. Yay! We Thank didn't get God. the picture! <laughs> got him. <laughs> Judge fucking got me. Where's Ashton? <laughs> and kindly hand that new photographic print to the bailiff to be filed as evidence. The post what was it? What was it? What? Yanis McYogi. Yanis McYogi, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the court bailiff in this case. Another print in the court record. I wonder if we can make use of that. I don't know, Ryan. Maybe we could. <laughs> Okay, so let's... The lake of lies are many dead fish. We must find truth. Therefore, I say guilt, not guilty verdict. The lake of... Did I go forward when I meant... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I forget, did we press him? Or we pressed juror number five, five. and then it came up. Five, because he got pissed at her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's press. Hold it! We can speed through this. Make sure you don't go too fast, because you'll skip over the part. Well, we'll have a question. We'll, we'll get asked a question. Oh, I, I see what you mean. Butter pile. It's this one. Can't understand hmm. really can't. It's just silly toys. Hmm. Great. Pursue. Now, excuse me. Excuse me. Now you can see it. Yep. I love it, like, whimsical music! It's funny now, folks! A person died! That's dead! Time for laughs! Uh. Absolutely, absolutely. I do! Absolutely diddly. How about this print here? Let's yes, take the first really one! Matter, but yeah. God damn it. <clears throat> Keep forgetting you can't click it like that. Present! Take that! Da, 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 da. Give us another one. I think you did the first one. So yeah, this is Take that. Nice. All right. These two prints were both taken at the same camera in Windebanks on the night in question. Yes, I see. Tell me, Mr. Um, lawyer. Not Rahodo, but sure. Do you know how stereographic images work? <laughs> Do you know? <sighs> Feels like a terrible meme of just this guy being like, ah, it's the SpongeBob meme of this fucking character laughing in the background, <laughs> and fucking Reno's is just like fucking kill me. <laughs> Do you understand the principle? Well, I think so. I did have a lesson only yesterday. Don't do it. Oh, no, it's gonna do it. The left and the right eye images need to be the same, only with a slight shift in the position of the same of, of some objects. Don't do it like this. Then, when your brain merges the two images together inside your head, it notices the shift as if it were depth. Yes, exactly! Oh, it's do that it. small shift between certain objects in the two pictures that's really important. So, what happens if you use two, two photographs that are exactly the same, then? No, no, obviously that wouldn't work at all. Not for seeing the scene three-dimensionally, anyway. Oh. Oh! Of course. Now I see. <gasps> I think the young girl has discovered the secret! <laughs> I have! <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have. God. Stereoscopic prints are stupid. <laughs> I figured this is a it waste out. Of time. Can you uncross your eyes before you tell me? Yeah, <laughs> that was good. good. Have another look at these two pictures from Hurley's camera, you know? Go on. Okay, put them next to each other. Thank you.
All right, everybody, do it. This is so hard to do from. It is hard. The mics from the distance between myself and my screen. I'm not even gonna try. I can't do it this, from this it's distance. Hard. It's hard. Uh, I mean, Gina's. That's okay. They're gonna. Gina's they're gonna, gonna, they're gonna do it. Yeah. You see that there's a really obvious difference between them. Uh, well, one says 1 a.m., the other one says 1.30. Got him. Of course there is! There were two people in the first and no people in the second. Well, yes, you can see that straight away. But now, try looking at the pictures in three dimensions. All right, I'll, I'll give it a go. So, to start with, you have to cross your eyes and then try to make the... Two pictures overlap exactly. Uh, let's see if by crossing my eyes I can make the quill pens from each picture overlap in the middle. Uh, oh, wait. Well, did you manage to see it properly, Bruno? I mean, I want to say not really so they'd explain it to me. Yeah, but I bet they'd just be like, here, try again. I'll say sure. Yeah, but then we won't know what it is. Yeah. Oh, people are saying if we say not really, it gets explained. I'm just not very good at this. That's the trouble. Don't worry. I is have this Jerry's just... scope? Thank God. Wow. I happen to bring with me a portable stereoscope. I know I mentioned this yesterday, but if you've had that contraption with you from the outset, you could have saved me, but you could have saved me staring at Mr. Windebank and Gina like I hate them all the time. <laughs> and if you remember, I said in reply, Get fucked, nerd. Get fucked, nerd. Huff <laughs> my dick. <laughs> that it's much more satisfying to be able to see the effect with your own wow, eyes. Wow, guilt tripping us right now. Yeah, sorry, I, do, I can't do it. Anyway, why don't we try using this helpful little aid now? Iris, you're being ableist. Am. Here goes. What? What? It's yeah, not the same picture at all. Things on the desk are look more in focus. Uh, let's see what we've got. Wait, look at that! Ugh! What, what's going on with these two pictures? Some of the things on the counter sort of... They sort of jump out at you! Oh, did someone like put... <laughs> <laughs> damn it, they didn't give us the Van uh, Zeke's one! Ah, he can't, he can't do it. God damn it, the judge... Damn can't. it! Uh, so wait, is this meant to say that somebody put something... Like a fake picture in front of the camera? I don't know. Uh, yeah, 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 I still, I cannot... Still do not know where they're trying to yeah. go with this yeah. yet. Yes, 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 that's it, you see. That's the other amazing power of stereoscopes. Uh, other amazing power? Is someone going to explain this with black magic? Eh? They're literally going to make every Everybody, fucking character do, do it. it. Do it. I want to see the mouse do it. It's my one request. Oh my god, please game. Why the deuce do some of these things or the counters seem to jump out at you like that, huh? I think you'll find this when you consider the basic principle of the stereoscope, you'll answer your own question. Basic principles of the stereoscope. As I said before, if you try to look at two identical pictures using a stereoscope, it won't work at all. Okay, so yeah, the fact that they are jumping out there means it's, there's something different. It's yeah. the slight shift in the positions of certain objects that lets you see pictures three-dimensionally. In other words... Yeah, they are. They do move. Shit. Even though at first glance it seems the objects on the counter haven't moved at all between these two pictures, this shows that actually there must have been a slight shift in their positions. Yes, there must have been. Thank God we're not playing this on the 3DS. <laughs> now hold fire there, sir. Did that work when you said it to your wife? <laughs> Got a reasonable grasp of this whole cross-eyed business now, I'd say. 
why the devil does this shift between the two points exist in the first place? Well, what's the answer, fellow? Come on, you're the cross-eyed master. Rinosuke, the cross-eyed master. The cross-eyed master. <laughs> Comes into a battle with his sword, and, and as it unsheaths, he goes cross-eyed. Cross-eyed, <laughs> cross-eyed breathing. Second form. <laughs> Flash what? of the cross-eyed blade! <laughs> Wait, those eyes. <laughs> you have the cross-eyed again. Ke- ke- the cross-eyed kick again, Kai. <laughs> what? Me? I haven't the first idea. You know, Runo, it's quite simple. It, it is? Just think it through, step by step. The first photograph was taken at 1 o'clock a.m. Oh, things got shifted. Then 30 minutes later, the second photograph was taken. But the position of some items on the counter appears to have shifted slightly in the interim. So that means... That means that sometime in the half-hour interval, someone must have tampered with the things on the counter. Zuchas! Sure. Someone tampered? New information. Stop. Not mentioned in testimony so far. Stop. Genuinely, who is, like, receiving this message? I want to know. Japanese! (laughs) Just somebody in Japan is like, oh, shit, what's going on? (laughs) This is crazy! Our, our, Our British people in the audience... Can you confirm that you just make up words for exclamations? I mean, that's what Shakespeare did. That's true. That's true. Yes. We've had to go around in circles a little here, it seems. But I'm starting to see what I should be aiming at in the summation examination now. I'm glad you do, Ryan. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, the question is now clear. We know the items on the countertop were moved, but by whom? Are you... Are you suggesting you might know? Of course. I can tell you right now who is responsible for the almost imperceptible shift in the items on the counter. Oh, I don't know. The Skulkin Brothers? That's the easy trap. But like, also just... I, I actually think my theory is it's Windbank as a way of sending a message. It's not about the money. <laughs> it's about sending a message. That was good. That was good. Because <laughs> um, he knew that he could just bump that shit and somebody looking at the pictures would notice something was up. Maybe. Possibly. People are saying it's not as deep or meaningful as I think. Okay. Okay, so it's so It's, it's the gotta Skulkin be the Skulkin then? Brothers, I guess. Well, there's two of them. Probably either one works. Yeah, I guess it's yeah. I like that his face looks fucking off-centered and it's cracking me up. Uh-huh. <laughs> it does, yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, Ringo's a year older than Nash, huh? Huh. Man. Alright. Yeah, they don't look like they're in their twenties. I have a suspicion we're gonna fucking get this wrong, but Take that! Go for it. It was the witnesses currently in the stand. The Skulkin Brothers. Wait. Stop the mouth. This does not agree with what brothers said in testimony before. They said they did not even have time to pull dukes from Lucy Lockett's. My phrase books is dukes is meaning hands, and Lucy Lockett's is meaning pockets. Uh-huh. But is this another lie? Is that what you're saying? Yes, I'm afraid so. Uh, Now, hold on there a minute. You can't be sure of that. I quite agree. The accused is a common pick purse, after all. It's perfectly possible that she went through all the things on the desk to see what she might steal. I think that's unlikely. And why, exactly? As you can see from this photographic print, the defendant was pointing a gun at the victim. It would seem, as my learned friend indicated... Oh, shit. Well, sorry, sorry. It would seem, as my learned friend indicated, that she was coercing Mr. Winderbank to open the storeroom door. In other words, Miss Lestrade's interests lay within the storeroom, not in the main shop. 
giving her no reason to touch anything on the counter. All of which points to one thing. The Skulkin brothers have omitted key facts in their testimony. But the accused is a pig purse. Common gutter trash. Why look any further for the wrongdoer here? Because the Skulkin brothers are thieves, madam. No better, in fact worse, than a pig purse. I believe that these brothers were looking for something on the victim's counter that night. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if you would condemn the defendant on the grounds that she's a pickpocket, would it not at least be right and proper to thoroughly scrutinize testimony given against her by two thieves? Well said. Thanks. I, for one, would like to hear more from that shady pair. Number four used headbutt. I thought he was gonna like yeah. do that, but he just went. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with that edit. Oh, it's gonna be good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. it's gonna be good. Oh. He did it before? Really no. Oh, we missed it. People are saying he did it before too. What the fuck? How do we miss that? Wow. All yeah. three of us? Wow. Damn. Oh, yeah. it's be it's because it was this panned out thing, and they all oh. did it at the same time. Oh, so that's, right. that's right. That's right. That's fair. That's fair. Can you all see now? I think you'll find stereoscopes aren't playthings. You've seen their extraordinary potential firsthand. God, I hate this fucking nerd. I'm just here for the stereoscope stuff. I'm just here. For the I don't really care stuff. about the trial. I wholeheartedly agree. Stop. Must purchase after trial. Stop. We'll return home via Regent Shop. Regent Street. Stop. Wait, did you just dox yourself on the stream? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, go find chair number five on Regent Street in London. <laughs> I don't need her number when I already have her address. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a joke. Well, it would seem this trial has yet to run its course. The ladies and gentlemen of the jury have declared their inclinations via the mighty scales of justice. I have, I call this summation examination to conclusion with the balance altered in the defendant's favor. Two lean to guilty, four lean to not guilty. Hey, Van Zeeks. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Accordingly, the jury is without consensus, and I order this trial to continue. Yay! Well done! Oh, by the way... What? You should hold on to this room. Thank you. You never know when it might come in useful. Thank Iris, you. I hope to God it does not become useful again in this trial, but I know they fucking will. Yeah, definitely is. Twice in one trial would be unusual, surely. But all right. <laughs> we got a stereoscope. Lord Van Zeeks, you will enjoy- You've now lost five different summation examinations. <laughs> Are you starting to feel like a loser? Because <laughs> that's what you're looking like to me. I don't even need to cross my eyes to see that. <laughs> oh, I'll pop juror number three. <laughs> you will instruct the witnesses that the court demands additional testimony from them. I'm sure it won't spoil the bouquet to do so, my lord. <laughs> <sighs> I've won myself another chance to probe that pair about their activities at, that night at least. I won't stop probing <laughs> until I've proven that Gina is innocent. <laughs> Damn, I was about to say, that feels like a perfect to be continued spot. We haven't streamed that long yet, but it's no, such no, a yeah, we, we good... No, no, we gotta keep going a little longer. But it's such a good spot. Yeah. Well, let's take a bathroom break, then. Yeah, I would like At to stretch my me. legs. I would like to stretch my legs.
Order, please. Uh, let us resume proceedings. Witnesses, you will now retake the stand. Looking so hot. No. I presume you heard the defense counsel's summation examination. Oh, yeah, Governor. I did, Gov, I did. Mr. and Mr. Skulkin. Cool, blimey. <laughs> That's good. This is going to be hard work. Hmm. Earlier in this trial, you gave the following testimony about your actions after you entered Windebacks. Well, it was Bedlam so nice, weren't it? It was nice, it was. Didn't even have time to pull me jukes out me Lucy Lockets. However, that was a lie. You brothers! Cool, blimey! On the night in question, you rifled through the items on the victim's counter. We never done nothing of this sort. How'd you figure that out? <laughs> I love his face. It's so good. Poggers, brav poggers. <laughs> this should be called the Pogger Brothers. <laughs> you will now yeah, give formal testimony faces. once again. Ringo literally is my little pog champ. <laughs> You will tell the court precisely what happened on the night in question, and this time you will tell the truth. Each lie that passes your lips serves to increase the severity of your punishment. Oh, damn it. And that, gentlemen, may deal a crushing blow to your chances of ever seeing the light of day again. Oh, his cheeks jiggle. Mm -hmm. He also has jiggle physics. Damn, this game is on real jiggle physics. A mm -hmm. thought worth pondering, perhaps. Say no more, Gum, we hear you. We'll blab, we'll squeak, we'll peach. No, you're pear and apple, respectively. If their brother that's was the, Peach. Yeah, hey, that's the third brother. Princess he better, Peach. He, it's Princess Peach. He better have the biggest booty. Yeah, that's true. And that's why they that's why he got caught, because he couldn't yeah, stick around can, yeah. with his he ass fit out the door. together. Anyways, enjoy Illegal that. Illegal entry, the whole truth. Yeah. And nothing, and nothing but the but... truth. So help me God. Alright, we did knock a few things over, but we weren't rifling for nothing. It was when we heard the gunshot, see? Made us both jump and all that stuff went flying. Lummy, it didn't half give me a fright. We was thinking the shooter would come out the door to get us next. We stuck everything back where we found it and scarpered straight into him. Straight into him in the black. We couldn't have shot the pot broker, see? We never even had a chance, did we? A likely story. Hmm. So you admit to the defense's accusation. You did indeed ransack Mr. Winderbank's countertop on the night in question. Uh, not ransack, Governor, no. That's right, Nash, that's right. It's more like we tied it up, yeah. We tied it up, you bastards. Uh, sorry. By their own admission, these brothers entered the pawnbrokery under dubious circumstances. However, they panicked and fled on hearing the gunshot, having first made good their mess. The way you say it, we hardly sound like roughs at all. We don't, Nash, we don't. Can he make us sound a bit more cutthroat? <laughs> it can't just be coincidence that these men showed up at Winderbanks that night. There's more to their testimony than meets the eye. I'm sure of it. Hmm. Hmm. Not too many statements there, right? Mm, five. Five. Okay. Yeah, comparatively, that's not a lot. Yeah. That's uh, fine. 
Uh, I guess we just press everything. Cause it's not nothing like openly stood out as hey, we've got them. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not on first glance. We wanted to start. Yeah. If that's the case, then why didn't you testify to that effect in the first place? Well, you know, we ain't exactly squeaky clean, are we? We ain't, Ash. We ain't. We admitted to something like that. People would think we was up to no good. Well said, Ringo, me old China. They'd only lend ourselves in even more trouble. Also never heard someone call someone else me old China. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a new one for me. Yeah. And in fact now, as a result of lying in your previous testimony, that's exactly what you've done. Landed yourselves in even more trouble. Uh, well, um... That's rotten luck. Says the rotten apple eater. Witnesses, explain your actions to the court. Why did you ransack the victim's counter? We never ransacked nothing. Right, Nash, right. More like we tidied up, tidied the place up. <laughs> uh, sorry. Got scared with the gunshot. Let's get this one because I kind of feel like it's nothing. I was thinking the shooter come out the door and get us next. We stuck everything back where we found. Uh, let's let's press this. Hold it. Yes. Whereupon you fired a shot from your own gun at Mr. Herlock Sholmes. Oh, uh, yeah. He was a bit hasty there. We was, Nash, we was. Truth be told, I was already shaking like a leaf when you lot turned up. If you're shaking like a leaf, don't put a loaded gun in your hand. That's true. That would yeah. also be terrible trigger discipline. Uh, good advice, miss. Good advice. Truth be told, me mind went totally blank. God damn it. Before your mind goes totally blank, Make sure you don't have a loaded gun in your hand. Mental note made, miss. After that, we legged it down the street, but... Apparently we looked dodgy to the coppers or something, so... They clapped the derbies on us like winking. And after you'd been handcuffed, the police found this revolver in your possession. Correct. Uh, well... Yeah. But listen, that proves it, doesn't it, hey? Hmm. Wow. Yeah, he really was doing it. Wow. A... <laughs> uh, couldn't have shot the broken palm breaker. We never had a chance. Hold it. And why should we believe that? Hey, what? Well, because it's true, isn't it? He said the thing. He said it is. The place was totally empty when we went in. Also, I think I just realized. Yeah, when you go to go to Ringo, the fucking thing moves up. The UI changes position because he's so oh, tiny. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Cover yeah. his face. That's funny. <laughs> At that time, the victim was already in the storeroom, having been forced to open the door by the accused who had a gun to his head. Hmm. In other words, on the night in question, these two witnesses never even laid eyes on the proprietor of the pawnbrokery, Mr. Windebank. Correct. You've got it, mister! Down to a T! It's good every time. Mm. Pretty amazing. So the Skulkin brothers never actually encountered Mr. Windebank. Is that really true, I wonder? Uh, press the statement about they, they were afraid someone would come out the door. Yeah. Because, like, how do they know someone was back there? That's true. That's it. That's the full extent of their testimony. What is it, Bruno? You look very fierce. Thank you. Oh, my God. You're absolutely slaying, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> I could pour you some herbal tea if you're tired. Oh, uh, thank you, but I'm fine. Being such a logical thinker, you'll probably laugh. But I feel as though these brothers are still hiding something. 
something important. It is nothing more than a feeling, though. No proof to support more it. More than a feeling. More than a feeling. So lucky if I remember. I went, I went to... And I can't fight this feeling anymore. <laughs> Oh, no, my reference is so much better. No offense. <laughs> more than a feeling. Well, look, sorry. More than a feeling is one of the most legendary songs of all time. Oh, yeah. Well, feelings can be very logical at times. Sorry. For people's expressions, the movement of their eyes, the words they choose. You can take all that in, and your brain will quietly analyze it to come up with a feeling like you described. You've concluded that there's something suspicious about that this testimony without knowing why. That's all. I think you should trust your instincts. Never give up. Trust your instincts. Iris, thank you. Sometimes, I think if she's ten years old, I must be five. Uh-oh. I need to change you. Uh, the gunshot made us jump and stuff went flying. Uh, next one. No, you didn't have. Thought the shooter, shooter could probably get us next. Get us. Yeah. Uh, that seems like something. Press. Hold it! So, you didn't try to open the storeroom door then? Not on your life! It went deafly quiet after that, it did. Put the wind right up me. I thought it went we'll back, back inside! Up. <laughs> oh. But anyway, the door was locked, weren't it? No way that was opening. Yes, of course. It was locked from the inside, or so we've been led to believe. Well, they know that, though. Yeah. It was, Gov, it was, from the inside. Right, so we had no way of knowing what was going on in there, did we? Okay, no, now oh, you're fucked. Now you're you fucked. You got it. You fucked up. Unless there was some other way to get a view of the inside of the storeroom. Like, through the keyhole. Oh. Ryan! Come on, my Ryan. guy! Ryan! Don't ring no bells, don't light no lights! We had to cut and run before we noticed anything like that. We're still cutting our teeth in this game, see? But one day... We'll really cut the mustard. Please. Why am I cut. still on this stand? I just have like, <laughs> cut it out. But as we know, behind that door was the victim's lifeless body, with the accused not two feet away. Yes, unfortunately. Ah, oh, okay. I thought that was, yeah. I was like, add that to your fucking testimony, please. Gina was in there, unconscious, with the gun in her hand. To confirm. Would it be correct to say that neither of you set foot inside the storeroom? That's right, Gov, that's right. Couldn't have, even if we wanted to. Damn. Uh, well, there's yeah, only yeah, one yeah, statement yeah. we haven't pressed yet. Yep. Yeah. So like number two. We heard the gunshot. Hold it! So what you're saying is... You heard a gunshot. The sound of the gunshot shocked you so much, you knocked all those things off the counter. Uh-huh. Well, it shocked my enough us that much, yeah. This bag of nerves needs to learn to keep his shirt on. Look, it was loud, all right. Blimey, me dead granny would have woken up with that bang. Big brother is... Clear contradiction. <laughs> Noise can't bring the dead back to life. <laughs> Pig Bravia screamed like a blooming baby and fell over the on the counter. He fell over onto the counter. This man isn't taller than the counter. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, he, I bet he was using a stool to look in the window. Mm. And then he fell. And then fell. Yeah. He knocked over a load of bogs, a candlestick, and some skull whatnot. I got tangled in some marionette what knocked over a picture frame, what knocked them scales on the floor. You've really mastered working quietly, then. What a racket. I think Granny would have been scared back into a grave at a clutter like that. Wait, so is she dead or not? <laughs> oh, no, she came she's back to alive life and, and then, then got the noise, the noise brought her back to life and then killed her again. The racket, racket 
killed from her him again. falling over. That's killed incredible. Her. Great, I love that. So in short, the gunshot took you by That's surprise. I, did you say short? You talking about me? Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh! And then some. I mean, it was quiet as a mouse, and then all of a sudden, BAM! <laughs> this fucking sprite is so good to me. Uh, Excuse me! Just loses his mind. Inspector Gregson, do you have something to add? Like I keep saying, I don't appreciate being lumped in with these scoundrels. I didn't, but okay. No... Something to add about their testimony. <sighs> you seem to react just now to what Mr. Skulkin said. Did it make you think of something? Hmm. It's probably nothing, of course. I wouldn't even bother to mention it, only... Well, the fact is, cases don't get solved if you ignore the little details. How about you just tell us what's on your mind? <laughs> As you know, we brought these fellows into the yard for questioning last night, and the statement they gave then told a slightly different story to what they're saying now. Then why the... why... okay. Yeah, that's... Easy. Why would they expect to get away with that? Ah, uh, um... did it? You're literally standing next to them. You claimed you heard the victim shout something out before the gunshot. Might have, Gov, might have. It does swing a bell now you mention it. Granted, it's only a minor detail, but still. I can't help feeling like perhaps you've been a bit sloppy with your testimony, eh, right, fellas? If I discover the witness's testimony has been any more sloppy than it has hitherto proven to be, I shall be forced to bring the very harshest punishment to bear against them. I will murder them. <laughs> the, judge, the judge does not like sloppy testimony. <laughs> easy, easy. We'll get it right this time. Yeah, that's it. Yep, yeah, it's all coming back to me now. Winderbank's name used to be Sloppy Poppy. <laughs> His name's Pop. Uh huh. Then speak. Supplement your testimony with whatever details you have miraculously returned to your questionable minds, sirs. Um... <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> right you are. Um, just before the gunshot, we heard a voice yelling out, Give me that gun! Oh, shit. Okay, well... Oh, okay, oh, yeah. the whole thing's new. The bloke what owned the place was holding a gun, so he should have just fired instead of yelling at the girl. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh that's what not what it was. Okay, I mean, so that's a huge contradiction, what he just said. Motherfucker, you go backwards. Yeah. Oh, my. Wait, that doesn't work like that? I have to use WASD? Oh, Jesus. What are you doing, game? What a bad video game. Holding the gun so he should have fired instead of... Well, no, my question is, do we... Present the picture? Yeah, yeah, because she would have had the gun earlier at this point. Yeah. Because that was before they showed we up. We gotcha! This is the one with, with them, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. See you later! Objection! You're saying that on the night in question, the victim, Mr. Winderbank, was wielding a gun. Is that correct? That's it, Gov. You got the picture? He has, no, she has. No question. Well, it's funny, because I literally have the picture, and you're oh. wrong. And yet, the photographic evidence from the time of the incident clearly shows that Mr. Winderbank was not in possession of a firearm of any description. Objection! Now, what the fuck are you going to say? You surprise me. Does the defense really intend to highlight evidence that compromises the position of the accused even more? Yes. Uh, furthermore, the defense has failed to establish that the photographic print presented was taken a suitably short time prior to the victim's death. 
Your chronology is severely lacking, Council. I disagree in every way. Yeah, that's right. Too right, Nash. Too right. The old geezer could have been able, could have been about to turn the tables on the girl. Eh? Well, that's what I'm going to do in this trial. Turn about. Hardly likely. No, I'm afraid this won't stand as conclusive evidence. Uh. Continue with the cross-examination council and heed my earlier warning, witnesses. <laughs> A skulking's never skulking. <laughs> Uh, okay. That sucks. What was the other thing they said? Uh, it was this. Just before we heard a voice yell out, give me the gun. Oh, what are, whose, yeah, voice, whose was voice was it? it? Yeah, that would be good to know. So in fact, you heard the voice and the gunshot almost simultaneously. We did, Gov, we did. Although, I suppose if well, you're being honest, we heard a kind of wavering voice before the yelling all. If you don't want to get shot. <gasps> Give me that gun! Bam! Ah! <laughs> kind of thing. That was that awesome. Kind of thing. Look how fucking tiny he is. He's adorable. I want to put him on my mantle. I don't have a mantle. I want to, it makes me want to get a mantle and put him on it. Put Get a little snow globe and put him inside that and then put that on my mantle. A career in acting tragically missed. I know, right? That was amazing. That was yeah. really good. And the Oscar goes too. And where were the voices Just coming from? Me. Could you tell? Of course we could. From the other side of that door beyond the counter it was. From the storeroom where the victim was found dead. And the voice you heard, it was that of the victim, Mr. Winterbank. On me granny's life, of course he was. <laughs> On his granny's life, of course he was. Shouldn't that also be your granny? <laughs> so that would mean that you both knew Mr. Winterbank and the sound of his voice. Hey, so that would mean what? What, Ace? What? Any ideas? Yes, Council, indeed it would. No, no, no. We didn't know the geezer. How am I supposed to deny it when that bloke and all the fancy clobbers giving us the evil eye? If you value your lives, you will ensure your testimony is accurate and true. On me granny's life it is. On his granny's life it must be. It's a good job his granny's dead. <laughs> to summarize then, summarize for me. <laughs> to summarize then, immediately after hearing the voice of the victim, you heard the gunshot causing you to stumble and upset the items on the counter, scattering them over the shop floor. You make it sound like we're clumsy. Don't forget we tied it up after like good little boys. Anyway, the way I see it. Huh. Wait. There, wait, 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 no, no, no. They just said, Windebank said, give me the gun. And then in this line, he could have just fired it. So if he was holding the gun, why would he say, give me the gun? Yeah. Now, how the fuck do we point that out is my question. Uh, but... You probably just have to press the statement again. Hold it! Or, yeah, just like try and skip through. Saying Mr. Wink had a gun in his hands. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we've, we've done this. Yeah, just keep, just like go through, because it won't let you skip through. New text, yeah. God, it's so good. Motherfucker. <laughs> it's really funny watching that in fast. 
Um. Uh, and then wait, what have? Oh, go back one. Now press this one. No, we just pressed this one. I thought you pressed the one before. We pressed them both. Uh, oh, we didn't press the, this statement? No, we pressed them both. I just thought you had not pressed them both after. Hold Let me it. try this one again. See, Mr. Wink, when the bank had a gun in his hands. But there was a sign, eh? Them two waving them guns at each other must have got pretty heated. Fucking got him. Oh, wow. That's okay. new. Yeah, how do we fucking... They both have guns. Yeah, wait, oh, what? Yeah, but that was a sight, eh? Them two waving them guns at each other. Must have got pretty heated. I mean, just before he shouted, we heard the geezer say, if you don't want to get shot. Didn't really sound like he meant it, mind. More of an empty threat, you could say. Mr. Winderbank was known to keep a revolver on his shop counter at all times. People say that to protect the articles in his keeping, he'd readily put a bullet in someone's head if required. Even his own. Yeah. That someone being himself, of course. Good grief! Extraordinary devotion indeed, if alarmingly misguided. Well, he certainly sounded like he was ready to pull the trigger the other night. Only, the person he was going to shoot beat him to it. Cooked his goose proper! Bet he wished he'd squeeze the trigger into the waist then time shout and give me that gun. And it was directly after those words that you heard the gunshot. It was more, it was more or less at the same time, Gov. Give me that gun! Bam! Got to think. Yes, career in acting, career in acting very tragically missed. Then we heard the sound of someone hitting the deck before everything went dead quiet. After that, we done a slapdash job tidying the place up. Okay, so he said they both had guns, which is very new information. Yeah, why is nobody reacting to that? He's taking everything back. I'm assuming everything's the same. We could have shot the pawn. We couldn't have shot the pawnbroker. Okay, yeah. And... Oh yeah, this is the weird bit where she's like, no, because you're feeling things. You're smart. Facts do care about your feelings. <laughs> Checkmate. Conservatives. Checkmate, man. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, autopsies that he was shot in the back. Oh, also, yeah, wait, if he was shot in the back. That's, wait, that's the, the wrong thing. Whoops. Presented. I'm cheese representation. Oh course. yeah, if he was shot in the back, then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they keep saying that he was like this. Yeah. Getting shot. So yeah, that's a yeah. Contradiction. Okay. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, uh. He was holding the gun, so he should have fired instead of yelling. Or. For the gunshot, we got a shot. Yeah, do that one. Give me the gun. Yeah. Because they're saying immediately, you wouldn't yell to someone give me a gun with your If you're looking away from them, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, look, maybe he's just oh, nervous about sh and struggles maintaining eye contact. Fuck me, man. I don't even want to be mad. <laughs> Someone's saying we got it, but I guess it's just a different it's maybe statement. the second one. The bloke would own the place is holding the gun. Just, just, well, before you present, just read them all one more time. It has here. to be this one. Uh, you'd think. He was holding a gun, so he would have just fired instead of yelling at the girl. If it's not this one, okay, so I'm going to find Shu Takami and throw a brick through his house. Objection! It's not that one. Shu? <laughs> Shu, you better sleep with one eye part. open, Shu. Shu? Yeah. <laughs> just go through them all one more time. Thinking the shooter come out the door, stuck at the back. Uh, so, but they put the stuff back. Yeah. Why do they have to go through this every time you've gone through all the all the statements? Yeah. Oh wow. So yeah. I don't. It has to be one of these motherfucking two again. 
Huh. Can we do this one? We did this one, yeah. Just before the gunshot, yeah. we heard a voice saying, give me that gun. Well, we've only, we've done all the statements that are, like, relevant to... Present the crime scene photograph at... St oh, we have to show... No, I'm sorry, that sucks, video game. Instead of the autopsy report that says he was shot in the back, we have to present a picture that shows he was shot in the back. They both should work. Yeah, that's, bad that's, video game. Yeah, that's that really is a bad. bad video game. Objection. Yeah, both should work. If anything, the autopsy reports better. Because yeah, because it's this, it physically mm -hmm. states that it states shot in the back. This could have been someone hitly shot in the front then rolled over. Unplayable. Zero video out of game. ten. Zero out of ten, baby. We got you, Shu. So you're saying? Uh, also, Shu, be ready for that brick. Uh, so you're saying? That on the night in question, the victim, Mr. Winderbank, was wielding a gun, is that correct? That's it, Gov, you got the picture. He has, no, she has, no question. And yet, photographic evidence obtained immediately after the incident shows that Mr. Winderbank was not holding a firearm event. Oh. Ryan mentioned that he was shot in the back. Hey, you what? Gordon Bennett, that ain't right. Objection. But also, like, that's like such an obvious thing to make an objection about. Yeah. The fact that you have to present a weird angled picture of him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what if he? What if after he got shot, he dropped it and it slid away? Yeah. That's that's. I don't. I don't like this one. This is one of the weaker yeah. ones, definitely. There can be no question that the victim's revolver was used in the incident. I would remind the court that Mr. Winderbank's gun was found at the scene. Yeah, we know, but in the person that shot him, who he wouldn't be saying, give me the gun, if he didn't... Not only was it identified as the murder weapon, but it was found in the accused's hand. If I was reading this guy, I'd look at the gallery and be like, shut up, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, that mold tooler used the victim's own gun to finish him off. Give me that gun! Bam! No, but you literally... Kinda thing. Hold it! Stay exactly where you are, right there! Hey? I'm about to fucking destroy you. If that crime had taken place, you've so colorfully described in your testimony like 37 times at this point, because we've had to keep <laughs> pressing you again, it would give rise to an undeniable and significant inconsistency in the final moments you just acted out. Yes, we get... Goodness, are you sure, Council? Very. Painfully so. You intrigue me, my learned friend. But let's see some evidence to support your claim. Where is the proof that demonstrates this inconsistency in the witness's portrayal of the victim's final moments? Well, now, do they want the picture or do no, they want the, the motherfucking autopsy? Opposite? Like, Take that. if it's not I, the autopsy report, uh, now I, I two will. Two bricks. Two bricks. Two bricks. Two Sorry, bricks, you. Two brick Takumi. <laughs> That's what I call them. Good old <laughs> two brick Takumi. <laughs> According to their testimony, the witnesses claim to have heard a shout of Give me that gun, followed by the gunshot. Uh, indeed, with the two events happening almost simultaneously, also we've been led to believe. Yes, that's right. Now, if that testimony is true, it would mean that at the moment of death, the victim and his attacker would have been facing each other. However, in the autopsy... Excuse me, that was a burp I was trying to suppress, and my voice cracked. Yeah, However... However, in the autopsy report, it clearly states that the victim died instantly after being shot from behind. Uh -huh. So, as I've stated before, there is an undeniable inconsistency in your testimony, Mr. and Mr. Skulkin. Yeah, yeah. Got him. But, but, but it's the God's honest truth. It is as it is. When he was shot that night, when the shopkeeper had a gun in his hand, we saw it with our own bleeding eyes. Did I hear you right just now? You actually saw Mr. Winderbank holding a gun? 
Uh oh. Uh. Get fucked, nerds. Shum it like that, mother slips out. Ladies and gentlemen, you have all just heard the admission by these two witnesses that on the night in question, they actually saw with their own eyes the victim wielding a gun. Which can only mean that despite their testimony to the contrary, Mr. Winderbank was actually Joker from Persona 5. <laughs> the Skulkin brothers must have encountered the victim in person. Uh, um... Uh... No, uh... <laughs> Gregson continues to really want to go home. <laughs> order! 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 Witnesses, explain yourselves at once. Well, the thing is, it, it weren't supposed to... Um... I'm going Ooh. to kill you. It would seem that my previous warning fell on deaf ears. I made it quite clear that false witness would be the death of you. <laughs> Time to show you why I'm called the Reaper. <laughs> Am I to understand that you replaced the untruths of your original testimony with renewed lies? Um, ever so sorry, Governor. Truth is, see, we, um... Cut it out, Nish. Cut it out. If we blame no, you know what you'll do to us. He? Who are they talking about? Let me make your position here perfectly clear. You will talk. There is no other option available to you. Uh, oh, come on, the game's up. But, but you have our guts for garters. In case this hasn't quite sunk in yet, no matter how hard you try to hide it, the truth will come out! It's like a fart. But not uh, a reverse fart. Um... <laughs> On the night in question, it is now apparent that you brothers met face to face with the victim. I demand that you testify again to explain the precise circumstances under which this meeting took place. Um, well... Uh, do we have to? On pain of death. I suggest you make yourselves fully aware that this is your very last chance to tell the truth. Damn. What do you think? That's a perfect That's spot. a good stop. Yeah. yeah. We, got, we got through one last testimony. Mm -hmm. That's pretty mm -hmm. good. Uh, Zero only got this to show, but here's my fusion crossover between Ace Attorney and Pokemon. It's supposed to be Diego crossed over the final Firestarter Evo from Scarlet and Violet. Spoiler for that reason. Uh, I saw this earlier. This oh, is ooh. so good. Uh, what's his name? Something Dirge? Skella Dirge? Uh, it's, so, it's so good. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is absolutely awesome. Uh, Dorky, it's the land. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Dor Dorky Ooh. and down, but like Dang. below lighting and uh -huh. d below lighting of old men. Name a more iconic duo. <laughs> uh, amazing work as always, Dorky. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got the guy with some of his little guys. Uh, I appreciate that. Reading oh. escape would have a team of entirely Pikachu. Entirely little little Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. No, it's really good. It's really good. Uh, cookie Run Eggert, because why not? Yeah! Oh shit! Oh, no. wow, yeah, I can totally see it. Wow. Yeah. No, you crushed it. That's so good. Dahlia with the dolled up Susanto. Yo! Oh, very pretty. That's so cute! Yeah, I love that. The wink is adorable. She's gonna be like Anastasia vibes. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> this is super cute, Dahlia. Yeah, Heck I yeah. love that. Emma, my first time posting, so hi, hello, welcome. Hello. Here's Iris and Susato in my style that I drew some time ago. Yo. I love that. Look at those big, so look at those cute. big old teeth. Yeah, That's she's so got cute. big old got big chompers. Oh. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like that the hair does not connect. That's also a good yeah. touch. That's cute. 
I love that. That's uh-huh. so that's so cool looking. This like car- very cartoony style for each yeah. of them. Yeah, this Yusato is so cute too. This is awesome. <laughs> Heck yeah, Emma, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, okay, thank you. I hope that you post again if you yeah. have some more stuff you want to show off. This was dope. Just to write a mini after learning about Rinosuke losing his best friend. I think Maya would want to give him a chance to talk about talk to Cosmo again. Oh shit. Are you ready, Grandpa Nick? I'm ready. Then let's begin the channel. Hello, Reynosuke. Kazuma! Aww. Yo! The feelings. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah! Thank you, Justin. Love Pinky. that. Pinky slash Alex is eating poop. First time posting here as well! Poop? It's a soap! <laughs> well, sorry for that one. Eating poop! <laughs> Anyways, here's some drawings or sketches of Shelly, a man who I feel very normal about. Uh, we've got him with Shu. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, anytime somebody says a My Brother in Christ, is, it, it cracks me up Christ. so much. And <laughs> my own niece my not in yeah. Christ. This fucking. <laughs> yeah, this pose for him is very good, and the face is very good. Uh, very good. I'm sorry, again, that I said you were eating poop, uh, but your art is incredible, so thank you very much, and I'm happy that you shared. Uh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> thank you. That was awesome. Toads and Moss, no more DL6AU, uh, more no DL6AU drawings. Uh, we've got some profiles. Excellent. Very cool, very cool. Looks very good. Uh-huh. Uh, since Miles is a defense lawyer, that means that when he meets Maya, he gets the Megatama instead of Phoenix. So here's him using it. Ooh. Yo, this is really cool. Very nice. Wow. I love looking through it. Yeah. Val, hey, I have art. In an ideal universe, they could have been siblings, a.k.a. how the scene of the pawnbrokers should have went. Ah, it seems my brilliant deduction skills are... I don't have time for this, you pompous, arrogant fop. They've been talking for over an hour. <laughs> oh, and Gina says it. Yeah, they, they both yeah. lashed out at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I could I could super see this, Val. This is, also, this is just me assuming that all blonde people in this game are related, though. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, and it's just so hard to say goodbye. <clears throat> to Sato-san, if you're really leaving, then I wanted to thank you. Ah! We mustn't say our goodbyes now. Please spare me, Naruhodo-san. I only meant to No! Go! I'm far too fragile. I won't be able to stop from crying. Go! I'm not strong like you, Naruhodo-san. I'm sure that I leave you in caring hands. I'll do my best to take care of you, just like Susie would have. Actually, can you do it without pointing that chemical gun at me? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's really great. I, yeah, I do love just, just constantly, like, 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 like anytime he tries to say something, he gets beat again. <laughs> He's getting fooled. He's getting absolutely ragged off. There's, there's, there's one where she doesn't even throw him away from her. She just, like, like, breaks his arm in front of him. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Yen. As always. Category Ace. Not my usual art post, but I did a miniature set building project for my theater class, and I chose Ace Attorney Courtroom as oh, my set. Oh, that's awesome. Yo. Yeah. That diorama is so cute. I, I used to, fun fact about me, I used to make a fuck ton of dioramas when I was like in third grade. Really? I got obsessed with it. You them. made a mead diorama? No, no. They were all bad. <laughs> yeah, no, they weren't good. Thank you, Categories. This is very yeah. good, though. <laughs> Uh, Mega Dizzy, I made the, I had this dream recently where a friend of mine wrote a, a fan fiction that served as a continuation of the original trilogy, and they e- even though they only knew vague details about the about the, the games, as a way to practice writing, I made this an attempt to encapsulate this bizarre vibe I imagine having. Oh shit! What the hell happened to them now? An Ace Attorney. Oh, so it's a where are they now? Oh shit! Man, man from Ron Carmen was last seen escaping custody by shooting bullets out of his shoulder from his specially requested last meal. His current whereabouts are unknown. Note, if you see him, do not attempt to tase him. That will make the problem worse. Yeah, he'll just take your taser from you. That's fair. He commands tasers. That's his kick again. Uh, Phoenix Wright recently passed away due to tripping on two cats at the same time and breaking his neck. That's, that's so good. Gado <laughs> died by dying. <laughs> Man, Waga High got him. Using the money he got from Glen Hill's Glenary Lottery ticket, the judge used to properly build his ideal Yu-Gi-Oh deck and later yeah. became the best judge to ever play Yu-Gi-Oh in the world yeah. after winning every competition ever. Give him credit, the competition in that category is fierce. Hell yeah! Oh fuck. I 
fucking Phoenix Wright diamond. Due to the guy playing the Nickel Samurai being problematic, Global Studios <laughs> decided to bring back Will Powers in the Steel <laughs> Samurai in the reboot movie known as Why Men Origins Steel Samurai. It sucked, but the studio went bank and the studio went bankrupt because of it. <laughs> Uh, uh, once cancel his culture grandfather was again. having a heart attack, Winston Payne took him, told him he could live out his dreams, and took him to an amusement park where he was attacked by incel werewolves and had to fight them off. In order to motivate people at the prosecutor's office to not be corrupt, Edgeworth used his Tumblr sexy man status to promote not being an asshole on his MySpace page. Surprisingly, it worked. Wow, These are really good. Hilarious. The fucking the Phoenix Wright one really got me. This is the reign of the Naruto clan. Not with a bang, but with, with a, a meow. meow. God. Uh, <laughs> Mega Disney also entered the Discord, so. Welcome. Uh, sexy! Hey. Uh, with what's in Jake Marshall's flask, we've got the cutest bug zapper ever, or heartless beauty. That's a doll. Don't let this cocktail fool you. The cloying sweetness of elderflower cordial, raspberry vodka, can't completely hide the hint of complex darkness of Sambuca and Absinthe. Oh, wow. that's smart. Absent, then this is super smart. Yeah, it's strong. Yeah. When shaken with water, the drink initially turns, yeah, a milky, cloudy color before going clear. So I chose this particular glass to reflect Dahlia's parasol, a little homage, uh, a little homemade pink sanding sugar, and a simple butterfly charm makes this drink stylistically complete. Yeah. 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 Using, using, like, water with, like, sugar in uh, Absent is super cool, like, the visual effect of how it gets cloudy and stuff. So, uh, it's actually, this is awesome. Yeah. I, I want to try it. Same. Uh, Giant Five Head, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV too much for my own good. So, how about Susato as my early main job? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. I love that. That's super adorable. <laughs> I, I wish I knew more about Final Fantasy XIV, but. Same. I, I, was, I was like, oh, it's like a, it's like an Eevee evolution, but I'm like, that's not what that is. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you, Giant Five Head. And Cry Wizard, back when Ryan and Susan needed a place to stay. Would you consider lodging with me? Although it is an attic, there is also an availability. <clears throat> my, that would be wonderful, Mr. Shones. <sighs> yeah. Well, my friends, welcome to your new humble... Uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Iris! I thought you got rid of the last tenants. Oh, my God. Uh, it's the fiend of D. Yep. I knew we should have sent the calling card sooner. Joker, what are we going to do? <laughs> Fucking days until eviction zero steal Sherlock Holmes. And then wait, it's what are we gonna do? Look, dolphins, discombobulate, or help me, Miarsen. Oh it's Mia crossed off our oh, yeah. God, my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have Ry Ryuji going, for real? The fucking, yeah, the for real is killing me. The face on that. Oh my God. Uh. <laughs> For real? <laughs> really good job on the days until conviction. Yeah. Like yeah. days until eviction. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. That's so good. Uh, awesome. Like how already has her axe out. Yeah. This would uh, be especially great to post after they literally become the Phantom Thieves before the trial, but better late than never. And it might be hard to see, but yes, Yusuke is eating Gregs and chips, and Charlie the Plant is also a Phantom Thief. Wait. Wait. Oh, there's Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, there's the chips. Oh, shit. <laughs> Heck yeah. Beep, beep, beep. 